Wang Qishan and Jack Ma participated in a big event in Israel. Dinner was in Jerusalem. Welcome dinner. Then Israeli Prime Minister Netanyahu gave a speech. The theme was an open Israel. Technology brings security to the world. Welcomes overseas investment. The second person who gave a speech was Wang Qishan. Jack Ma was there too. Wang Qishan met with several big shots today, including some very pro-communist figures in Israel, high-tech investors and executives of high-tech companies, those that have long sold core technology to the CCP, second department of the general staff, the third department of the general staff, and the CCP state security department. Most of their technology and equipment were purchased from those Israeli companies. Usually, Israeli tech companies' big deals would be closed in Hong Kong and Macau. They used to also go to Singapore, but now Singapore is not allowed. So the big deals have been transferred to the CCP. Those Israeli tech companies' executives all met with Wang Qishan at the event. The theme of Wang Qishan's speech is that China's 2025 plan is the biggest opportunity for Israeli companies. China has a budget of 10 trillion US dollars and will purchase from the entire international market in the future. Regarding Israeli politicians, Wang Qishan said that being a politician is temporary. If you can make money, it will last forever. China 2025 is your biggest opportunity. Any technology company in Israel must seize this opportunity to cooperate with the CCP. China's 2025 plan and Belt and Road initiatives welcomes everyone. This is why when Wang Qishan decided to visit Israel a few weeks ago, I said that the CCP would use the market of the 2025 plan as bait to openly BGY Israeli politicians in exchange for their power and Israeli policies, which was going to cause big trouble for Americans. Israel's technology definitely surpasses that of the United States in many aspects, especially in terms of military and public control technologies, especially core technologies in monitoring, tracking, and network blocking. All the CCP wants is to develop these technologies and control of the oil and its RMB settlement. Then why did the CCP ask Jack Ma to go there? Wang Chishan, on behalf of the CCP, gave his speech and negotiated with the Israelis. Who will pay for the deals and sign the contract with the Israelis? Then there comes China North Industries Corporation, Polygroup, these CCP's arms dealers, as well as CCP Cyber Technology, Data Surveillance Company, Jack Ma, who is going to do business with Israelis. The CCP operates every minute and every second. All they want is to 3F the United States and BGY the United States.